Hi, my name is Sandy Brooks, and I am originally from Iowa, I'm living in Colorado for the last about 40 years. And welcome to my tiny house. I'm very excited about it, so I hope you enjoy it too. I have been transitioning for um, many years. My last home was about a thousand square feet. I had to put all of that away, and now I'm retired, starting over with a completely different life. I'm standing in the kitchen right now, and on the left-hand side, my dog, Zoe, um, sleeps underneath the dishwasher most of the time. And she's my friend, and she's five years old, and she's very happy in this tiny home. Really nice cabinets that I chose when we started the build. I really love light, and so I am very happy with the whole tiny home and the fact that it has if you count them all up, there's like 12 windows in here and, and the door is included in that so that I have lots of light coming in during the day. And then I have a what I think is a gorgeous refrigerator. It is huge for a tiny home. Has the top and then the bottom is the um, freezer. And then I have a, a lovely um, pantry, which is um, pull out drawers. I have a two um, burner stove, and then I have a Genera convection um, oven and microwave, which I love also. I brought in my artwork and voila, this fit right here. So um, that's why this fun piece is up on my tiny home. I put my knives up here because I don't want them all in a drawer and taking that space. The backsplash is limestone, and I chose it because it's very nice looking and also it's hard and it, it's easy to clean. I love the big sink so what I do is put my dirty dishes in here and then I put them in the dishwasher at night. Love the dishwasher. I also um, sing with the um, Durango Choral Society and so I bought a little $59 um, piano. And so I can roll it out on this whole thing and use it to practice my singing. Now I have a purple door for my bathroom and it slides through so that there is some privacy there. And in my bathroom I have um, a washer dryer, which I absolutely love, and a shower, nice size shower. Water heater here, down below some storage, and my sink that I can brush my teeth in and that's all I need it for. This is my living room, very happy with that too. I um, searched for a long time to find a couch that would fit this appropriately and is very comfortable because it is my seat. And it makes into a bed. Of course, on the bottom, my shoes, and then this step has Zoe's things. And this step has some winter hats and some of my electric electronic stuff, my technology. I have a lot of storage in here, and that's partly underneath the bed. Artwork is pretty important to me. A picture of the Columbine, a, a photograph that I love. And then I have this piece, which I absolutely adore. I use my computer a lot and I can look up at that when I'm working. I had some friends come about three weeks ago who had not seen my tiny house and they walked in the door and the first word was, wow, this is really nice. I could live here too. The bedroom is my favorite place, and this is why I picked this specific model for a tiny home, because I can stand up in it. And I also have a lot of room for clothes. The bed is a full-size bed, just a three-inch mattress, so that it's not real high and easy to get into the bed. So I have pictures of my family and some of the things that I really love. And then underneath the bed, they made a little spot for Zoe and then I have two windows on this side also. Big thing for me again is that I have lots of light.
I wanted to put a decoration on the outside and I found this heart in Port Collins where I lived before and basically what it is is a lot of butterflies. I had a sister who died very young. Whenever I see a butterfly I think about her and so it felt like I could put this on my tiny home and have her with me. Um, we showed my tiny home at a tiny home show and Simplicity built it. They put this on it and I think it's kind of cute so I left it there. So this is my garage and it is eight by eight. I can put my ladder in here, my dog's food is here, and the other side has a little larger door, so if I wanted to put my bike in here, I could. Dragonflies above the door, so we call my tiny home the dragonfly. You need to have really good insulation, you need to make sure that it's built properly, and that it's going to be something that you really love. I hope to live in mine for a very long time. I'm loving my new life, so just making new memories. Thanks a lot for coming today, and I am in Escalana Village in Durango, Colorado. So if you want to come knock on my door, please do.